November is Native American Heritage Month. We want to honor and recognize all tribal nations across the country. In recognition of Heritage Month, here's a little known fact. Did you know that on most Indian reservations, criminal jurisdiction is handled at the misdemeanor level by tribal courts, and major crimes go to federal district court? However, in 1953, Congress began a policy called termination. Five states were selected to remove the standard justice system and replace it with the state system. Tribes widely disliked this imposition on their sovereignty, but the law went into place anyway. This law is known as Public Law 280, and the original states were Minnesota, except for the Red Lake Reservation, Wisconsin, Oregon, California, and Nebraska. In the 1968 Indian Civil Rights Act, Congress began to reverse this policy and stated that it would not allow state jurisdiction into Indian country without tribal consent. This act also included a provision that tribes could get out of Public Law 280 through a process called retrocession. My tribe, the Boys Fort Band, successfully retroceded Public Law 280 in 1973. Today, the Boys Fort Band has federal officers policing the reservation, a law-trained judge, a law-trained prosecutor, and a law-trained public defender. Boys Fort works closely with the U.S. attorneys on major crimes. Those major crimes go to federal court. In 1978, Indian tribes lost criminal jurisdiction over non-Indians on the reservation. Hence, Indian reservations are one of the few jurisdictions in the world where criminals who are non-Indians can totally fall through jurisdictional cracks and may not face any prosecution. In season 17 of Native Report, we will explore the history of Native nations in this region, as well as taking a look at the resilience of Native peoples in the United States.